Hello everyone, Christina Poncher here for TopRank.com and this is the press conference to announce the fight with Brandon Rios versus Diego Chavez. I'm very excited to be back. It's been eight months missing in action and I thought I went to Miami but I wasn't. I was at my house depressed, crying because I wanted to come back to, to the ring and fight again. Uh, That's what I love to do and I'm just very happy to be back and to show everybody that I'm not done yet and the last two fights was, you know, it happened the way it did and it did and it's all right. Here with Robert Garcia. Robert, good to see you again. It's been a little while since we've been back here, at least with Brandon, uh, as it is about eight months. Um, what has his mentality uh, been like? Obviously, you're more than just a trainer, you know, but a, but a friend and a mentor to him. What has his mentality been like throughout this uh, eight months that he's had off? Well, for, for, you know, for eight months that he's been off, he, he pretty much was staying at home, doing his own thing, enjoying his family. Uh, the last two months that he started training, he's, uh, he's motivated. He's training hard. He's doing things right. He's eating healthy, uh, following instructions. Uh, little things that for the past two fights, he kind of like, like was away from, you know. He kind of was in a different mentality, thinking different. I think uh, now that we're back to like old school training, the team is small. We don't need that many people. Brandon got rid of a lot of people. I think uh, I think that's what he needed, and uh, now he's motivated, training like like when he uh, when he first became world champion. And he should be because he has a tough opponent. You know, this isn't a, a pushover guy, not somebody that you just walk in and 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 take lightly. A lot of people saying that you know he's skilled, he's strong, he can box. Uh, what do you see in his opponent, Diego Chavez, and, and and why Chavez for his first fight after a loss to Manny Pacquiao? Well, look, Diego Chavez, I've, I've seen uh, a couple of his fights, especially the one with Keith Thurman, and uh, he's a very talented fighter, man. You know, Diego Chavez is a fighter that myself and Cameron didn't, wasn't, he wasn't our first choice. We had other names in mind, but for whatever reason is, uh, top rank in HBO pretty much told us, you know, this is a fight that we have, so we had to take it. And, and, and Brandon also said, you know, why are you guys looking for anybody else? I want to fight the best. And if they think Chavez is the best fight for me, then I want to fight Chavez. So we took the fight. Uh, that wasn't our first choice, but uh, we're comfortable with it too. I know Brandon, Brandon needs this type of fights. Brandon, we can't bring Brandon an opponent that uh, that nobody knows or nobody thinks is going to do give him a challenge because that won't motivate him. I think what motivates Brandon is knowing that he's going in against one of the best Walter in, in you know, in the world. Sometimes when fighters have a break, it's almost a godsend in a way. It gets them rejuvenated, refocused, back, getting them back to basics and what they need to do. What was the time like for you? Well, exactly. You know, I had to rejuvenate myself. You know, I got to, I had to stop, think, and just remember the, the way I was before, before I got here. I got too comfortable too quick. You know, I was making great money. So I think I just got too comfortable and it is just... It's just, you know, one of those things that I lost focus of my my all-time dreams that I always wanted to do and what I wanted to become in boxing. I just got too comfortable, and you know what? I had a, I lost, but it's, I'm glad I lost in that kind of way because it brought me back. It had, I had to take five step back, instead of two step, I had to take five step back and remember the way I was before to get to where I was at. So that's what I had to do, and I got to do that again, so that's why. I, uh, I'm glad I took this time off, kind of, and I kind of didn't, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm going to rejuvenate myself. I, re, I rejuvenate myself. I'm going to be ready 100% and get the fan and everybody the old Bam Bam again. And it is a tough fight. You didn't pick an easy opponent to come back yeah. um, against. Diego Chavez is a tough opponent from Argentina, can box, can move well, has power. Uh, you know, Robert said that him and Cameron went over a lot of opponents and um, that you didn't want an easy fight, although it is a 10-round fight. Uh, you didn't want an easy opponent. You want to get right back on top and stay on HBO. But um, but he's a tough guy. It's it's not going to be an easy fight. Yeah, well, honestly, Robert's telling you guys full of shit. I did want it an easy fight. <laughs> I want the type of guy that Danny Garcia is fighting. <laughs> that type Ooh. of guy. I want a fucking a guy ranked 77 or 108 <laughs> fucking rank or whatever, man. I want an easy fight. But Robert's full of shit. He's just lying to you guys. But you know what it is what it is. Uh, I had to fight Diego Chavez, and so I got Diego Chavez. So I'm, I'm very happy. You know, to me, he's just a... Uh, he bleeds like I bleed. He sleeps like I sleep. So it's, it's just an, another day in the office. So I'm not worrying about, oh, man, he's a, we know he's a, a very dangerous guy. We know he got tremendous skills. We seen him fight when he fought Keith Thurman. He gave Thurman a run to come and got him with a good body shot. So, you know, uh, I just got to be ready. You know, 
uh, uh, there's things that we see in recent fights that we've been looking at and we that he doesn't like. And so we've been going over that stuff and everything in the gym, and I'll be ready. 100% I'll be ready, and uh, I can't wait. You know, I just want to show the world a, a great show. And it's going to be a type of fight that supposedly, because they say that he's a warrior, he comes to fight too, and I come to fight like always. And like I said, the old Bam Bam's coming back, and I'm going to give the fans what they want. It's all going down at the Chelsea inside the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas, August 2nd. It's a stacked card. You'll see Jose Ramirez, Jesse Magdaleno on the undercard, Jesse Vargas versus Anton Novikov. Title fight, two undefeated fighters. And then in the main event, Brandon Rios versus Diego Chavez. Get your tickets now or watch it on HBO Boxing After Dark. We'll see you there. I'm Christina Poncher.